are going to die. Go too right. fast. I'm, going, I'm, I'm going, taking three. I'm going for the St. Louis now. Oh, no. <laughs> <laughs> Son of a bitch. <laughs> you get your two? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Welcome back to the channel. Today I've got uh, some Nagato footage here on North. Looking at the, um, the the matchmaker here real quick, you can see my biggest concern on the enemy team initially is what I thought is going to be those uh, those two rangers that we have. So, you know, let's take a look at the map itself uh, in a battleship. So when I'm playing on this map, the um, the spot that I usually want to go to is on the west side. I find it gives me the most room to maneuver around, turn my ship, uh, get my guns turned around as well. I can maintain uh, a good distance usually uh, to keep the guns firing and have enemy shots not be so accurate. So um, it is the place I want to be. It's not always the place I do end up depending on who I'm playing with or what's going on. You know, I will go on the east side and um, go down the channel. Uh, alternatively, depending on the uh, the game mode too, you know, I will hit up the, uh, the B point right in the beginning um, if the situation calls for it, of course. Battleships themselves are fairly slow and um, not easy to maneuver. So, as a general sort of rule of thumb, or what's generally accepted within the game, is when you're in your battleship, try to plan moves ahead of time, uh, almost like a, a game of chess, sort of. I guess um, you know you don't want to uh, get yourself into a situation where you don't have a, a plan B or an easy exit out that usually ends uh, in disaster for you. So in chat, you can see uh, one of the team members did ask where uh, what the plan was, and so no one really responded back, so I did type that I was heading towards the west side, and of course I was hoping that people would uh, come with me and we'd have our own little group so we could support each other. So there are some targets popping up here, and I'm going to be taking a few pot shots off at them, but from this range, and um, you know, everyone's going full speed, it's pretty hard to get shots off, or rather land shots on target, and uh, really do some meaningful damage. Uh, I find, generally speaking, um, it's easiest to shoot battleships, obviously, uh, when they're at further ranges, you know, they're um, slower, so a little easier to hit and bigger, so you have a better chance of hitting them. Cruisers like this Pensacola here, I find a little harder to actually try and manage to get a hit. You can see I am getting a few hits, but it's either no damage or spalling damage. And again, spalling damage, you'll really notice it in your battleship, some of the later tier cruisers. Your shells are hitting the ship, but they're not doing any critical damage. They're just um, hitting the side of the ship and maybe splintering inwards. Um, so nothing too great here. And usually when you see like uh, 12, uh, 1,240 damage or uh, like 1,000 damage or 1,100 damage with an armor-piercing shot, uh, that's usually what has to, uh, what has happened. Um, so you can see that's exactly what happened with the Pensacola there. It's at about this time on this map, when you go on the west side, that enemies start popping up as you're coming ac uh, around this island here. So the first target to pop up was the Romansk. Uh, he rightly decides to turn around and disengage uh, for now. Uh, the next target is that Atlanta. So you can see Heavy Talon there on my stern has put some shots into the Atlanta. Um, but he has missed. Um, here comes my full salvo. I have turned to try and give myself the best chance of doing some damage on the Pensacola, or on that Atlanta rather, and uh, I do manage to get some hits, take out about, uh, about a quarter of his health, so, you know, that's not too bad. While this was taking place, Heavy Talon here did lose a significant portion of his health to the Atlanta. Uh, the Atlanta can just pump shells down range. It may not have uh, the best uh, range itself. I think it's around 11 kilometers, but when you are within that 11 kilometer range, you know it. Um, the Atlanta quickly becomes uh, the bane of your existence. Uh, so there is uh, the Atlanta again. I'm putting more shots into him here and um, hopefully going to try and get him killed. No, those shots miss, but the Miyoko Old Sun, uh, we can see him now. Uh, he did manage to get some really good shots into the Atlanta. So the Atlanta is now dead and we have a Pensacola and a Mermens to deal with. It's the same Mermens from earlier, he's just simply turned around, met up with his Pensacola friend, and uh, both of them are re-engaging. So Heavy Talon there is on fire, low health. I want to try and do what I can to save him, whatever I can possibly do. So 
first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to put try and put myself between the enemy fire and him so that the enemy will start taking shots at me, hopefully. Um, I'm then going to start putting shots down range to make them, you know, say, hey, look, here I am, big battleship, why not shoot at me? Tried to do that um, just a few moments ago. You can see I did miss uh, on the Romansk. But again, at this range, I find it pretty hard to hit, uh, especially in Romansk. There's a small cruiser. But it is, for the most part, working right now. Uh, you can see we haven't lost any ships, so Heavy Talon's still alive. There he is. And uh, enemy ships are now shooting at me rather than him. So the, the, the strategy seems to be working here. We still have, uh, have his support. I still have Old Sun here with me as well. I'm turning around now, though. Uh, you can see on the mini-map, I'm <clears throat> sort of the lead of this push on the west side. I don't want to get too far from my support, which is uh, a mistake a lot of battleship drivers do make, especially on this map and on this side. They'll get too far and um, lose the support that was with them, and then you're at a position alone and, and you know soon you're gonna die so I've completed my turn everyone around me is still alive and um, I'm gonna start uh, trying to focus in on that Pensacola there uh, so I can see him he's not in the best position for me to take a fire at most of the enemies have disappeared at this time uh, but the Wyoming's still there I put uh, a salvo in onto the Wyoming um, hoping to get a shot but as I had said in some previous uh, videos, I do find it hard to judge, um, get my range on American battleships. I, I don't know what it is, but they're some of the hardest for me to try to do. Now, just taking a look to see how the uh, teams are divided up there again, see who's alive and who's gone. It's just the Atlanta on the enemy team who's gone. Uh, but the Pensacola is now in a much better position for me to take a shot at. He's showing me the side of, the side of his ship, so this is giving me the greatest possible chance of getting some citadels on them, doing some really big damage. Uh, so shots are out, and they're about to land. There we go. Not too bad at all. Citadel shot, and did about 23,000 damage uh, in, that, um, in that volley. But while that was taking place, Heavy Talon did die. Uh, I, I believe the Pensacola got a shot in on him. He was pretty much one-shottable, so you know he's gone at this time. Um, myself and Old Son... Old Sun being the closest support I have to me, I do know there are other allies here with me. Up pops this Atlanta. So we're going to try and uh, get the Atlanta here. I was hoping to do it in one salvo, but you can see with that shot there, I overestimated um, how close he would be to me and uh, shot over him. Um, so, yeah, not so great. Um, taking lots of incoming fire here, uh, you can see which is all right. I mean, at this stage of the battle, I still have a lot of my health, uh, so taking shots like this isn't a big concern for me. Um, it's really once you start setting a battleship on fire and making them pop the repair and um, heal ability that the battleship drivers are going to start to find themselves in a bit of a situation. So there's the Atlanta. I managed to finish him off. Old Sun really did most of the damage to that guy. Um, he was able to get some Citadel shots. By the time my Salvo hit him, there was just a bit of health left, and uh, I just so happened to get the kill on that. Now, unfortunately, right here, this Mermens beaches himself, but my uh, turrets aren't turned around, and I'm not able to take a shot off at him uh, to really take advantage of that. So it did suck, but it is something you have to um, get used to in your battleships, because these sort of random events like um, you know someone beaching themselves at the most inopportune time it will happen and you're not always going to be able to take advantage of it um, at the last second because I was turning my ship I did manage to get a shot off but you can see I hastily did it and I, I didn't actually hit him at all so the Pensacola is back I did send out some uh, shots on him there but uh, as we can see right there I've missed uh, so that's not great um, but still you know letting him know I'm here Looking at the map, um, it is time for me to start pushing back into our cap. With the failure of the push on the east side, I don't want the enemy now to counterattack and just come right into our base. Uh, you see it a lot, and I just don't want that to happen to us. Uh, but we can see here the Congo right there. That's exactly what he's doing. So now I have to kill this Congo. Uh, we can't let him uh, be in here if we can kill the enemy ships one at a time as they're coming into our cap through the channel it'll give us the best chance of actually um, defending our cap and holding them off so that first shot on the Congo 
didn't do a whole lot. I was trying to aim, when I aim, I try to aim right at the waterline so that my shots will come in and hit below the first magazine and in the center of the ship where the engine is located. That's how I'm aiming and what I'm trying to aim for, especially in battleships like this with armor piercing, because you need to be a little accurate or as accurate as you possibly can be to get the citadel shots you want so you can kill those enemies. So out pops my next salvo. And that does the ticket right there. So I got the final citadel shot and I killed him. Now if only the rest of the enemy team will come in one at a time so we can keep doing that. But up pops that Murmansk again. So this is the same Murmansk that uh, you know I've been trying to hit since the beginning of the game. Uh, here he pops up and he, he's setting me on fire now. So a little more serious um, than, than before. Before he uh, didn't really manage to do a whole lot but now I'm on fire. I had to use my repair so suddenly his, his, he's becoming a uh, priority for me. So I do manage to uh, get some shots in on him, but if you notice, while I was outside of the zoom there, we did see the Mahan pop up. I'm going to start turning here. You can see it right now. I'm turning for two reasons. One is I'm on fire and I'm waiting for a cool down so I can put myself out. I don't want to catch on fire anymore, have more damage done to me. But the second thing is that that Mermans does have torpedoes. They have an 8 kilometer range. I'm less than 8 kilometers away from them, so I want to open up that distance and hopefully uh, not have them torp me. Those torps coming in right now are from the Mahan. I wasn't too concerned about them though. Uh, his torp range is, I think it's a little over 6 or maybe 6, and um, I was turning away, so not a concern of mine. Now I fired another shot off at the Murmansk, but I missed him. I overjudged where to uh, where to fire, and you can see that that salvo just went right beyond. Now suddenly overhead, those torpedo bombers from one of our carriers um, takes aim at the Wyoming there off in the distance, which is great because the Wyoming is uh, now my biggest threat because the Murmansk is well, he, yeah, as you can see, he's moving behind the island, and I can't get uh, I'm not gonna be able to get a shot off at him before he gets there. And well, by the time I'm reloaded and ready for the shot, uh, see, Wyoming comes across. And so I'm lining up on this guy, going to try and get him, but you can see the, the uh, torpedo bombers are moving in on him, and that carrier, uh, carrier captain really gets a good shot on them. Uh, I mean, look at that. That was fantastic. Of the six torpedoes he launched, he had to hit with four of them, and the Wyoming is more or less dead at this time. He's on fire, he's flooding. He's not going to survive. He, he's just going to burn and, and flood to death. Uh, so I don't want to waste uh, any more shots on him than I, than I have to. So I'm going to be looking around for more targets to hit and uh, you know see what I can see. So off in the distance, there is that New Mexico. So I do have to launch my scout plane. We can see the scout plane view here. I'm still getting used to it. I find it hard to, uh, to aim, but it, you know working on it. Um, I did take a shot off on the New Mexico. It looked like he was just sitting there. We'll go back and see. Yeah, right there. I mean, maybe he's moving really slow. Not 100% sure. Uh, but that's not too bad. So uh, I did about 5k damage. I'm now reloading, trying to get some more uh, salvos into him. You can see the team around me uh, is also able to put shots into that New Mexico as well. And... Um, once he pops back up here for us, we'll see he's no longer going to uh, go with the strategy of just sitting and hiding behind an island. He's now actually going to, um, you know, get some steam going in those boilers. Actually, I think it's electric turbines on the New Mexico, so he's going to be charging up those batteries <laughs> and uh, and moving. So there's my uh, next salvo coming out. Uh, do end up hitting him, and that is for about 3k damage. Uh, so that's not too bad. Uh, two salvos, 8k. Um, in damage and we're going to try and get one last one into him here before I have to turn or, or get a position. So we're just waiting on the reload at this time. New Mexico is in and out of my sight uh, but luckily we do have planes in the area and um, we're getting a little closer to him now as well so we're going to get this last salvo off. Uh, that one you can see was a hastily aimed shot. I had no confidence in whether or not it would actually hit him. Uh, we're going to follow the rounds in, and it doesn't look too bad, actually. Yeah, that was pretty great. We did get a critical hit, and we did about 5k damage again. So in total, in those three salvos, 15,000 damage. Not too bad. We can see the New York has popped up, and um, he's going to uh, support the New Mexico. So what I'm going to try and do is I'm going to try and turn and use the island here as cover from 
the New Mexico, or sorry, from the New York, so that I can still engage the New Mexico, kill him, and then take on the New York. That's the plan anyway. Trying to do it so I can do uh, engage one ship at a time. I did manage to get a quick salvo off there, and uh, those shots are about to land. We can see it right there. So critical shot and about 4k in damage. Not too bad. And uh, the island is still there in front of me, so uh, it's covering me from the New York. Um, and I'm able to just engage the New Mexico right now. Um, so, you know, I, I, fe I feel it's going pretty well here at this time. I was confident, you know, the team was pulling together. Uh, shoot some more off at the uh, New Mexico. Uh, the New York saw, he might have saw what I was doing, or maybe it was just a, a lucky turn, but he did end up turning. And uh, now he's he's following the New Mexico, so the island isn't between uh, here or I anymore. And um, he's able to get some shots off at me if he wanted to. And I'm able to uh, turn. You can see my rear turrets are now coming into play. And uh, just put a shot into him. Uh, let him know I'm here, that I have, uh, haven't have forgotten about him, of course. So we're just lining up our shot now in the New York, and shots are off. I was hoping they'd do more damage. I was hoping, you know, obviously for that uh, Golden Citadel shot or few to kill him, uh, but it didn't happen. Now it's about at this time in the battle that I actually look at uh, the timer. <laughs> I figured, you know, this battle had been going on for a little while here. Um, how, there can't be much time left, and no, there's not. Uh, so right now, I, you know, just looking at the timer, looking to where I am from their cap, how long it'll take me to get there. No, we have to kill all the enemy ships now if there's any chance of winning this battle at all. So suddenly, instead of just keeping the New Mexico and New York occupied, I've got to kill them both. Uh, there's there's no no ifs, ands, or buts about it. it it's just going to have to happen. Both are behind, the ro or both are behind this island here, so I, I really need to get in position and get the shots off as early as I possibly can. Now we do have a destroyer and a cruiser trying to get the CVs down in the bottom north or southwest of the map. Um, so they're down there putting pressure on them and in fact you might have questioned that move by them but do you recall any airstrikes in this battle? No. Uh, there, there were. There, you know, Those ships were down there keeping the carriers busy and um, really helped us out actually uh, by doing that so not too bad um, by them. Now here's the New Mexico. He's popping up, <clears throat> and I gotta kill him. Have to kill him. There's no, you know, no ifs ands or buts about it. It it just has to happen. Uh, so in that one shot there, that was massive. Uh, I do manage to get three, uh, one citadel hit, three hits, and a total of twenty-one thousand damage done to him in that one salvo. So that, that was nice. We've got about two minutes and twenty-seven or twenty seconds left on the clock. Uh, so not great. I'm going to try to turn and use this island, you can see it right there, as cover while I'm reloading to get another shot in on the New Mexico. While I'm doing that, you'll notice that the New York was killed, so that was fantastic. We've only got two carriers and one battleship left to kill. Uh, you know, hopefully we can get this uh, done because we really, really don't have enough time. Um, so New Mexico's popping around the island here again. I do fire at him, and uh, luckily I do end up getting the kill. Excellent. There he's gone. Uh, just the two carriers left, but we only have a, about a minute 38 left on the clock. Um, you know, can we do this? Well, the chances aren't too great, actually. While I was taking out the New Mexico, um, the carriers did end up taking out our cruiser that was down there helping out the destroyer. So now it's just the destroyer left uh, versus those two, uh, two carriers. And you can see the flurry of activity down there. They've got planes in the air, our carriers there as well. It's not like uh, the team isn't pulling together here to try and make this happen. And we're doing everything we possibly can uh, to help the destroyer. I mean, I can only go so fast. My range is only so much. If I was able to get my scout plane off, maybe I might have been able to get a shot in. Uh, but I, I really don't think that that was going... Uh, I really don't feel, you know, that that would have turned the tide of the battle. I would have had had to get a lot of lucky siddle shots to take it out. Um, so, you know, the clock continues to time or to count down here, and we just, we're just not going to be able to get this done. Those two carriers, you can see they did take out the destroyer, and, and now it's just the planes over there. Uh, it was, <laughs> you know, this was a really, really close match. 
Um, we did almost have this. I debated whether or not to show it today, um, but I, I thought I would put up the video of it because it, it does show, you know, even with good teamwork, we had some good teamwork this game, both teams. The enemy team had an excellent defense on the eastern side. They stopped uh, the push by our team on that side, took out both battleships and disrupted that whole area. And uh, on the west side, we did end up pushing through here, um, but still ultimately weren't able to do it quick enough to really maximize on it. So the battle is over. Uh, it is a draw, unfortunately, but not a bad game, like I said. Um, about 300,000 credits, 2,300 experience, uh, three kills, four citadels, uh, and it did equate to about 1540 uh, base experience. So thank you guys so much for watching the video today. Be sure to, to leave a comment, hit the like button, subscribe, and tell a friend. Um, and you know, just enjoy the rest of your day.